up on my own computer. Let me see something here. Just a second. Let me go back and go back and do this again. And I should be popping up. There I am. And let me make sure my sound is good. Let me make sure my sound is good. Okay, so now my sure sound's my sound good. good. Okay, so now my sound's good. I'm going to turn my sound down. And I'm going to wait for a few people to pop in here. <clears throat> I think I'm a... No, I'm right on time. I was like, I think I'm a little early. No, I'm not. Usually I'm running a few minutes behind is what it really is. All right. All right. Just waiting for some people, like I said, to pop in before I get started. <clears throat> I have been so busy organizing my art studio and then my craft room. Oh my gosh. It feels good to have it organized, but it's so much work. So much work to go through your stuff and see what you have and what you need to give away and throw away. Hey, artsy girl. Hey, Janice. Hey, you girls. Um, I'm going to be getting your stuff out tomorrow. It took me all week to get these printables together, and I want to send these to you guys. So, um, and it's a big package this time of printables. I have like 15. So, um, it'll be, I'll be sending everything out tomorrow. I just finally got it, it all together and I got it listed on Etsy. Basically, I still got to work on it a little bit, but just to let you girls know that. Okay. Some people are coming on. Let me say hi. Hi, Carolyn. How are you doing? And how's your girl, Janice? Hey girls, how you doing? I just start talking at you. I don't even say, hey, how are you? Okay, very good. Very good. Yeah, I'm a little late with these printables this month, but um, but anyway, better late than never. Late for what? You know, it's <laughs> it's my printables, so I don't know. I don't have to tell have to talk to anyone about it, so I it's my own imaginary timeline is what it is. Okay, we'll just wait a few more minutes for people to come in. And while this is happening, um, today, you guys, we're going to work with um, my mark makers that I made. My mark making wands. I'll just kind of show you guys these while we're... Hey, Queen's Life! How are you? Good to see you. <clears throat> oh, yeah, we were on Pamela's uh, Kind of Live. I don't know what you call that. Anyway, um, these are... Uh, Painting, I call them painting uh, mark mark maker mark makers, but they um, or I like to call them um, mark making wands. There we go, get it out, Angela. And I made these in a video, so we're going to use these with some inks and some watered down paint to make some uh, papers. Okay, and we're gonna stick with uh, monoc what is that word? Black and white, and a little bit of metals. So um. Because this week in the hashtag um, 100 Days of Collage, um, Froyle is doing, um, this one's coming up a little bit. Froyle's doing a, a monochromatic, that's the word. <clears throat> and I don't always follow like to a T, but I would love to work with black and white. Because I have been lately loving black, white, and gray. And um, this taupey color. So it was just perfect. That she decided that that's what this week was. And you don't have to follow that. She just decided that's what she was going to do. If you want to join in with the, whatever her 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 little thing is. She's going to do that week. So we're going to we're gonna play with all these. With those monochromatic colors. She used one of these. Which I had one of these in my um, here in the studio. And I just hadn't played with it much. And they come out. Things come out so cool with this thing. So I'm just showing you what we're going to work with. These are all of the. Handmade wands. And let me just show you the rest of them. These are so fun. Now I have uh, four others that are really, really big. Those have to be used outside. Because um, it's going to make a big sloppy mess. But I'm gonna, I want to do something outside. On big sheets of paper. 
This one makes a really cool mark. We're going to start with this one. Okay, so let me put those aside and let me look at the chat. All right, we got some people in. Okay. Let me see what people are saying. I know I love Pamela. She's so sweet. She's the best. Okay. Um, thank you, Janice. <clears throat> I saw this lady, and I can't even think of her name. Did I write her name down? Sometimes I write down people's name when I'm watching videos. I really like her, and um, it's an artist, and she, she really loves, she puts on classes in her studio, and I think she's like in Australia or something, and anyway... She uh, makes these brushes and she teaches a class on making brushes and they all make them and it's really cool. So um, and I don't have her name down here, but anyway, I um, when I saw that, I was like, oh my goodness, I have to make some of these brushes. I'm just seeing if I didn't write her name down. I thought I did. I've got so many notes everywhere. Okay, let me see if I wrote it here. Oh, yeah, here it is. Her name is Lorna Crane. I don't know if you guys have heard of her before. Lorna Crane. I knew I'd write, I would wrote it down because I try to write down names like that when I really like what somebody's doing and then I maybe want to do it. So I can give them credit. So let me see what else is everyone saying. Thanks, Janice. Okay, so you know what? We got enough people here. Let's get started. The first thing we're going to use is this. Hey, Northern Snowbird, what we're doing is we're using my handmade wands, mark making wands, to uh, make some papers up in a monochromatic and uh, a black and white. And so with the black and white, we're also going to use um, metals like gold and silver and a bronzy color. So um, first, we're going to start with just black and we're going to use this right here. You can get this at Daiso. If you live in California, you can pick this up for $1.50. Otherwise, this same bottle like this on on um, on Amazon or a lot of other places, it's like five bucks. Oh, and this is my last one. I'm so sad. Okay. Oh, thank God that wasn't opened. Oh, you know what? I don't need to do that. There we go. Just twist it here. <coughs> Don't you love Daiso Queen's Life? Oh my gosh. Do, do you have a Daiso where you live? So I have to work with a pretty big bowl. So this is a bowl that I'm using, which I probably shouldn't have started using this. Look at the top of that. Why would I use that? Anyway, I already had started using it, but I found some mugs that I'm not that interested in anymore. I'm going to use those. And I don't have a gold or bronze or metal ink. Um, I have paint, so I'm just going to um, water it down. So we're going to test that out today, too. So, because, and I'm, what I'm using is I'm using cardstock, white cardstock, black cardstock. The black cardstock is going to be for the metals, you know, the gold, the silver, and the bronze. And then we're also going to jelly plate, too, in the monochromatic colors. So we'll do this for an hour, and then I'm going to jelly pr uh, print for an hour, and then we'll be done. And then we'll do, of course, the giveaway at the end. And I'm not doing um, a show and tell today because I have a lot I want to get done, but not just because of that, because um, I'm going to bring this up because I have a lot of stuff. So I'm going to make a separate video tomorrow. Okay. Did I miss anybody coming in? I don't think so. Okay. So I'm using the black ink right now. I'm dipping this one in. This one makes some pretty cool. I better get this over here. This makes some pretty cool um, designs, I remember. I've tested. I, did I test all of these? Yeah, I tested them all. See how it makes that? Isn't that cool? This is a bunch of, uh, are these natural feathers? Yeah, these are natural feathers, I think. Yeah. Isn't this fun? <coughs> I 
should show you my other pages. What did I do with them? I mean, hopefully they're in this pile. I have some pages that I already did when I played with it last time. And it's so quick and easy. It's like, it doesn't hardly take any time at all. It's crazy. All right, let me rinse this. Okay. There we go. I have this big arm across me, so I have to, like, work around it. It's like, okay, how am I going to do this? Okay, let me rinse that out. Pretty good. All right, so there's one. And I gotta put my wand somewhere that I know I've used them. What am I gonna do? Let me try storing them here. All right, that, hopefully that works. Let me get a paper towel out. I know I'll need that. And I'll need a baby wipe. It doesn't look fun. So, um,. How cool, huh? Oh, I was going to show you guys the printables. Um, before I get too messy, you know what? I'm going to show you the printables really quick for this week. There's some cool stuff. I think you guys will like. <clears throat> so the, the, when you do this, it's just very, very abstract. You could also take it and then spray coffee on it afterwards. And what's kind of cool is it bleeds a little bit. And so it adds to the design, too, because I did spray some with coffee, and that was really cool. Make sure I don't have anything on my hands. Okay. Are these mine? Or let's see. January. Oh, yeah, and this is it. Okay, because I put that over there. Okay. Oh, I'm just talking to myself. Trying to keep things straight, you guys. Okay, so I just want to show you guys really quickly. And some of these you guys have seen because um, I used some earlier in the um, earlier in the of last month. So I did another one of those pages. Um, I did three of these languages from around the world. You know, the Asian, the Arabic, and then my intuitive writing. Here's another one. This one's pretty cool. I put a bingo card in there and then did intuitive writing on the bingo card. It's pretty cool. Here's another one. They look similar, but they're all different. All three of these. Thank you, Janice. And this one has a little bit of a music note right there, too. This is a jelly print that was on a book page, which I think came out really cool. There's quite a few of these that I used last month. I, I know I just wanted to. <laughs> but this was also a book page. And then I put coffee stains on it. This one you guys saw. I used these two last month. Or not last month. Just a couple for the last week or two. I was just excited. So I wanted to use them. Now, these look the same because they are. But the, what makes them different is that this right here, she's a African... Uh, what is this? These are all... African and native um, signs and um, sh this uh, represents um, an African queen well on here it chops off her head okay so that's why I gave you two sheets so you get two full sheets and see this one it chops off the legs at the bottom but on this one yeah make sure you got the legs so that's why you get two of the same one so you can make sure that everything you get all the you can use this as one page you can use it in, in half. You can use and cut out just little um, elements. I've done all of that on these. It's really pretty cool. Here's another jelly print. I just love the way it came out. And this is another jelly print. I love the way it came out. It looks so old wall and it's on um, book page of some sort. I remember when I did this, it was a book page that was just getting, was just ripping to shreds. So I was so glad to make a print of it, a copy of it. And this was also another book page. I found these book pages that I really like the paper. And this is uh, jelly printed again and then coffee drips all over it, which I think came out cool. Now, these are different for me. Um, that Mucha 
that his name is Mucha. I think it's Mucha, isn't it? I should know this. <clears throat> I have it right here. Let me just make sure. Yeah, Mucha. That's his last name. I checked this out. This his stuff is public domain because it's like super old. So anything that's like um 1920 and younger, 1920 and older is um younger and older is um public domain so that's why on etsy i kept seeing people um being able to sell prints of this and i'm like how can they sell prints of that it's not their work well it's public domain so and that's why you see this work all over the place on packages on i had a soap that had one of these women on it so um i'm going to i decided to put this in the printable pack so you guys can have these aren't they gorgeous so every printable package, I'll put four or five of these ladies. So that if you get this, you have them. They're gorgeous. Look at her. I just did a um, a spread in my collage, my 100 Days of Collage with her. And one of the other ones. Isn't that beautiful? I did one with her on one page and then her on the other page. Okay, and then next, these are my own collages that I made. And I also used um, collages and I used uh, stamps to kind of make these vintage -y looking papers. I was inspired by something I saw uh, Prima. They were selling a stamp. I think a stamp like this. Was it a stamp? No, not a stamp. What were they selling? I don't know. I think it was a stamp. I can't remember. But anyway, it was like this. So I did my own collage. And then I also did stamping and created this. So this was a whole bunch of royalty-free images that I had. And I collaged them. And then, um, then I also took like um, old love letters. They're really old. And I used those. And I used a bunch of stamps too. And then these ones are coffee dyed also. And Tim Holtz Distress Inked. And I created my own, like, vintage collage papers. I'm trying to think what that was. It wasn't a, it wasn't a stamp. It was... I can't remember what it was. But it was expensive, whatever the heck it was. And so I thought, I can make my own. So I did. And then I thought, this would be great for the... For the kit. Okay, so that is the whole kit, just so for the for the month. So if you're interested, you can go to the Etsy shop. And um, if you go to the Etsy shop, um, you can get everything on there except for not this yet. I have to go back on. Something happened weird with the last four that I showed you, these four or six. All of this, the black and white this one and then these two i gotta go back on there and i have to fix the download thing so they're not they're ready to go but i have to fix something so i'm going to do that when i get done with this so just know that if you want those uh they'll be up later on tonight so and they're 250 for every five pages it's two dollars and fifty cents if it's only four pages it's 225 or two dollars i can't remember so <clears throat> I have to list them in sets of five or four because that's all they'll allow um, me to do So with Etsy. So that's why they're like that. Okay, I wanted to do that before um, I got this table too messy. Okay, let me see what people are saying. Yeah, oh, hi, Carolyn, how you doing? Yeah, you have to watch my video on, on making those. They're, they're, it's really cool. It's so easy and it's so fun. That'd be a nice couple of hours in the afternoon just making, um, just making, um, uh, Mark making wands. I think that would be, it was fun. I, I just did it for an afternoon. It was fabulous. Okay. And I'm, this is on, um, cardstock. That one's a really thick piece that I don't want to use. Put that down there. That cardstock was like the kind you make cards out of. I don't know how it got mixed up in this. All right. Let's use a different, um, Oh, let's use this. Yeah, let's use a different wand. Get the uh, paint back here. Let's 
So everything today is going to be black and white, gray, and then the metals, like silver, gold, bronze. So monochromatic, there's the word I'm looking for. So we're just trying to make things monochromatic. Oh, that looks cool. Let's try a circle, like a half circle. Cool. Oh, cool. So you're just letting the brush make the make the marks. That's it. Very cool. Oh, oh, let's see if we can complete the circle there. <laughs> cool. And what's cool about this, it's just very abstract. So when you do collages, you can just um when you're doing collage you can um, just take pieces of it, which is really cool. <laughs> We're going to get in some, into some, um, using some gold, gold and bronze here in a minute. So let me put this down on the ground. So that's how that one turned out. So like I said, uh, torn up and ripped up into a collage looks really, really cool. Uh, Let's use this one. <laughs> this is um, that mop, uh, that uh, rag mop from Dollar Tree. I made it out of that, and this is what the this looks like. So I'm dipping it. Oh, you guys see it good. This one's a little bit hard because I have the camera in the way. But I'm doing it. I'm doing it as much as I can. Oh, how cool. Oh, how cool. This is cool. I just hit my camera or my phone. Oh, how cool. How fun. Okay, let me put that in the water. So that's what that one looks like. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys what that um, one tool does, the, um, the kitchen tool. That does some cool stuff too. All right, let me just get this rinsed out enough that it's not going to stain everything everywhere. Okay. Let me get a paper towel. Just paper towel this a little bit. Open up. I'm just putting this in a paper towel just to go like that because it'll... Ooh, look how black that stuff still is there. All right, I'm going to put that one over my trash because that one has to be rinsed out <laughs> way better than that. Okay. <clears throat> cool. And let me let that hit the ground. And then I'll check chat here in just a second. And then, you guys, I'm going to do this for a little bit longer, and then we'll get the jelly plate out, and we'll do some um, monochromatic stuff on the jelly plate, which will be really cool. Okay. Okay, I bet it would be cool, too. Hey, Angie, have you uh, tried the on your jelly paper yet? Um, no, but I have some. I don't. Yeah, I have some, but I have some jelly paper. You know what? I have some deli paper. We'll do that in just a second. I did uh, pull some though. Think artsy girl. Okay. So I'm going to use this next. I haven't used this. I just had it sitting up here because I had seen somebody use it. But then I seen um, Froyo Arts use it. 
and I thought, you know what? I want to see. She was doing some really cool stuff with this thing. Oh, this is cool. Cool. You know, let's try um, with this. Let's try what um, Janice just said, using the using the uh, deli paper. I'm, I'm not sure what will happen with a deli. Well, that is cool. Look how cool that is. I love it. When I saw Royal Art use that um, basting brush, isn't that a basting brush? Yeah. When I seen her do that basting brush, I was like, "Oh, that's cool. Looks like a piece of art that you could frame." I think that's cool. Oops. I'm just throwing these on the ground behind me, so. <laughs> okay, let me get, um, let me get the deli paper out. I have a piece right here. Let's try the deli paper. What I'm interested with the deli paper is I'm interested in how it dries with the ink. I, we know that you can use deli paper for, um, we know you can use deli paper for, um, for paint, but I don't know how it is for ink. It's kind of resisting the paper. But then I wonder how it's going to dry. So, you know what? We'll find out. It's totally resisting the paper. It's weird. Cool. So that's a cool little design. But it really resists. See how it's resisting it? So, I'm interested to see how that'll dry. All right, I have this one here. This is, um, what is this? These are corn husk. Just the husk of corn. We're gonna do a couple more with the black and then I'm gonna get the, um, the metallics out. This is cool. So everything does, does something different. So I'll have a lot of really cool monochromatic uh, papers to work with. I mean, how cool is this? I mean, not only did am I making my own papers, but I made my own brush to make my own papers. You guys, that's cool. That one came out pretty cool. I like it. I like it. Okay, let me rinse off my corn husk. That mop one, that I mean, unless I do it outside, that's a one-time thing because it still has tons of ink in it. I had to put it in my garbage can. <clears throat> okay. Doesn't that look cool? These are like totally like little little pieces of abstract art. Thanks, Janice. Okay. So let's see how this is gonna come up off my mat. Thank goodness I have this glass mat. Or I would be this would be a mess. Like on your table, you'd be like, ah, but it's a glass mat, so. I'm not worried. Okay. <clears throat> this
this one, I remember doing this one. This one doesn't put very much on there, but it's pretty cool. So. Oh, what this is right here is a little, these little branches. Look, they have little ice crystals on them. You get them from Dollar Tree. I love them. I mean, I love them in like arrangements and um, in wreaths. It's really cool. This just makes a weird, just weird. Just, there's probably not too much to it, but. But it's lines that I couldn't make myself, so. So it's very subtle. So it'd be cool to add with something else. So I'm going to leave that like that. And I'm going to uh, get another one of my wands. Another one that doesn't make a whole lot of marks and add it to this one. And then we're going to go in with some watered down paints. that one down there all right so let's try this one this one's another like um a little faux faux plant that i got a, what do you call these picks you know the other one was a pick too like a faux pick from dollar tree so i don't remember i think if i remember this doesn't make a whole lot of marks either but they're real light so you can just mix a few things together This one will be really cool to um, coffee stain. Because the marks are just so um, light. Okay. We'll let that one go. And this will be good to coffee stain because the marks are just so light that um, there's not like a whole, whole lot to it. But like I said, it's a good one for background or coffee staining or something like that. All right, I'm going to get out my black paper. I'm going to use, let me put, I rinse this. Did I rinse this yet? God, I have a second thing of water here for rinsing. Okay, there we go. I'm going to take this basting brush and the black paper. Let me move this out of the way, this ink. So hopefully we don't spill that. And I have some cups here. And we're going to play around with um, paint. And some of these mark making tools i've never done this before watered down this and used these mark making tools so well, that's a lot of paint i probably put too much but whatever i'm going to make this pretty liquidy so i'm using this gold paint right here from hobby lobby the same paint i use all the time for the gel plate And I'm just, I just put, you know, made it real nice and liquidy. See, see, real nice and liquidy. When I saw Froyle do it with the, with the, um, Froyle Arts, when I saw her do it, um, she had gold ink. So, but I'm, but I was listening to that one lady I told you about. She used, uh, she said you could use watered down paint. So let me get this. Up a little bit there we go all right so I'm dipping it in here let's see what this does oh cool
Oh, this is cool. I'll tell you what's not cool. It's trying to work up above this, work, work below this arm that I have for my... Oh, cool. Look how neat that looks. So in a collage, you guys, that's going to look fabulous. Ripping that up in a collage. Oh my gosh, just using little bits and pieces of it. That's going to look cool. That'll take a little while to dry. Okay. Isn't that gorgeous on the black cardstock, uh, Janice? Um, did Ronnie just come in? Yes. Hi, Ronnie. How you doing? So I have... Um, I'm using um, mark making ones that I've made um, on um, on paper, just making papers. And then we're going to do some jelly printing too. And everything's monochromatic. So I'm either using black or white, gray, or the metals. So I'm going to use this mark making wand. Okay. Dip that in the gold. see what this does let's go like this because it's wet it's making a whole nother mark than last time because I rinsed it you know so now it's just like making cool That's going to look so good in collages. Oh, I'm excited. <clears throat> okay. Let me rinse that. I don't want to use that one. I'm going to use the same three or four that we used last time. So this one should be cool. Let me get a piece of paper. This one was one of the coolest ones I've liked. So let's see how that one looks with this gold. And this is just black cardstock. I thought black cardstock would be best because trying to use, uh, you know, this kind of liquidy stuff on regular paper would be, I'm sure, a disaster. I'm sure you could use watercolor paper too. Cool. This is my favorite one. I love this one. Besides that, um, besides that uh, basting brush. This is one of my favorite ones. And this is a natural feather. I like that one. It leaves some really exciting marks. Look how cool. I'm loving on the black, uh, the gold on the black. That's just really dramatic and really awesome. Thank you, Froyal Arts. Um, <clears throat> let's change. Let's change to some bronze. We'll do a few bronze and then we get the jelly plate out. Okay, so let's put that away. I got another cup. You guys, I prepared. I prepared for this. Okay, I, I'm, I'm sitting here bragging about how I prepared. And look what I didn't do. I didn't hit this, crack the seal. So, so much for my preparation. Okay, you guys are going to hear some wax with this thing because this is the thing I'm going to use. So just plug your ears. All right. That used that cracks the seal. Sorry about that. I'm sitting there bragging about how I prepared. And I didn't even crack the seal on the paint. Okay. So much for my preparation. 
Okay. Hey, Rose. <coughs> Excuse me. Hey, Creative Wings. How are you? So glad to see you. <coughs> Excuse me. I saw someone else came in. Uh, is it? I'll call you 4-2. There's a lot of letters and numbers there. I'll call you 4-2. This is 100% what I was going to do today. Excited to see you're doing it. I'm not able to play at my table yet. Oh, you're so sweet. Thank you, 4-2. I appreciate it. Okay, anybody else say anything? Adrian, how are you doing? Thank you for joining us. So I'm just making... I'm just making... Um, I'm using my handmade wands for people who just came in. I, you know, they're mark-making tools, but I call them wands because, you know, I like fairies and mermaids and everything magical. So um, mark-making wands, and I made these. I have a video. Just look it up. It's not too far from from the top of all my video lists. And so we're just making papers for collage with these mark making tools. Okay, so I just did gold on black. And before that I was doing a black on white paper. So now we're gonna use this bronze color. So this should be, this should be exciting. And I need, oh, that cup is nasty dirty. It's been sitting like in this area. Anyway, we don't need to go through all that. Hopefully this one's not gross. This one's kind of gross, but not as gross as that one. They're sitting on this shelf. I don't use these cups. And that's why I decided to use them for this. Okay. That'll be good. There's my popsicle stick. Let me put this popsicle stick back into the gold. All right, come on, lid. All right. Let's just wipe some stuff down a little bit so we don't get too out of hand messy. Whatever wants to lift up. Okay, so we'll add a little water to this. And then for those who just came in, after this, we're going to uh, go to the jelly plate. And like I said, I'm working with monochromatic colors. I've really been into like gray, black, um, gray, white, black, gray, and then the metallics. So, <clears throat> and the 100 Days of Collage I'm doing, Froyal Arts is the one I found out, and she this week is going to do all hers in black and white. So, if you want to join her, you can do that. Also, you can join her Facebook group. And uh, if you're going to do this 100 Days of Collage, or you can just join a Facebook group, uh, period. And, um, and, uh, you can go ahead and Join in, and then you can post your pages as you do them. I'm doing mine in a book, so in an altered book. Okay, what am I doing next? Okay, I'm going to use this. So oh, these are I'm using all of my mark making wands that I made except for this. This is a basting brush, and I believe I got this at Dollar Tree, like everything else. Um, this makes some really cool marks. So let's see what this looks like with this bronze. Cool. Sorry, I'm getting silent on you guys. Just, oh. Just focusing. Let's try going. Let's try doing a swish up here. Oh, I just keep hitting this camera. Cool. I like it. So this is what the bronze looks like using that basting brush. These are going to be really cool just to use to rip up and put into the collage. Love it. Love the, the bronze. Fabulous. <clears throat> 
Let's just do a couple more, and then we'll pull out the jelly plate. Um, let's use my favorite tool, this one. And these wands are so cool, you guys, that you can just hang, like mine hang, like I sit in front of a window. So mine hang from the window, like right in the front, like a almost like a, a curtain balance. So you can hang them all over your house, in your art studio, in your craft room. They look cool as decor too. You know what these would be? They'd be great gifts to make these for like artsy friends. Your artsy friends would be like in heaven, make them like two or three brushes. They'd be like, what? This is cool. I like this. This is my favorite brush. This is my favorite one of all the mark making brushes that I made. I love this one. Have you guys, anybody heard of a thing called Planners Go Wild conference? Um, <clears throat> since I did my planner video of my planner haul, then you know how you, you do one thing, then YouTube starts sending all uh, other kinds of things to watch. So I sort of kept seeing Planners Go Wild uh, 2022 in California. So I looked it up. They have like a planner convention. You guys, I'm going next year if this whole Corona thing's under complete control or as much as it can be. Anyway, I want to go. They went, they had it in California. It's the last day was today. You guys, I was, I've been watching videos on it. You guys, it's just like the most positive, fun party for the weekend. People who love planners, who like to decorate their planners, people who love like um, journals and like, like um, traveler's notebooks, that kind of stuff and stickers and, this is cool looking, you guys. This looks like a picture on its own. Like, you could frame that. That's cool. So, I'm going to go next year. I got to start saving my pennies. It's not cheap. Uh, that planner, it's called, uh, wait, it's called, uh, I think called Planners Go Wild. They have dances. They dance. They have, a oh, one thing that was really cool is um, you get assigned a table. Everybody does. And the different companies, all the major companies are, are there, like Happy Planner. Like, I have a Happy Planner. Happy Planner's there. Everybody's there. And um, I'm going to clean out this cup. And everybody's there. So you have a table you're assigned to. So they sponsor that table. So they decorate the table to the nines. I mean, they have things that are like five feet in the air on the to, for the centerpiece for the table. And if they're a Happy Planner, you're getting a Happy Planner. You're getting stickers. You're getting all kinds of stuff. It's one of the coolest things I've ever seen. It was so neat. There's people on um, stilts. There's people wearing like flashy jackets that just flash everywhere. I mean, there's just so much stuff. It's so cool. It's for three days. It's really expensive. So I need to save my pennies to go. It's like $500. <clears throat> so it's crazy ridiculous, but it just looked like so much fun. And the music they play, you guys, is my kind of music. They play complete, good, good R&B dance music. It just looked like a blast. <clears throat> I know I do a lot of art, but I'm also obsessed with my planner and decorating my planner. And I'm obsessed with, um, oh, what do you call it? Journals and traveler's notebooks. I love all that stuff. That's part of my problem. I like too much, too many things. Oh, I'm going to do this silvery pewter color metallic so this is the last one we're going to do <coughs> so if you end up like making some of these and you like some of some of these mark making wands better than others um they're also like like i said great for decor because they look so cool hung up so hanging on a wall put two or three together hanging above your window like i have so yeah, they're fabulous. I put too much water in this one, I think. <laughs> Let me pour some of this water out in the garbage. Just a second. All right. All right, I got to make some more of this really quick. I didn't put enough. First, I had too much paint. Then I had too much water. Get it together, Angela. <clears throat> oh, 
Okay. All right. I'll check chat here before I get started with this last one here. We're going to use the basting brush again, and I'm going to use my favorite wand. Oh, I need to rinse that wand. I'll rinse it in a second. Um, yeah, three days of a planner conference. And you guys, it's not just like a boring planner conference. It's like, that's why they call it Planners Go Wild. They go wild. Like, there's screaming, there's yelling, there's fun, there's dancing, there's food. There's It's just like a party for three days of people who love planners, TNs, journals. I mean, all that. It just looks like so much fun. <clears throat> Somebody, uh, Janice asked how the weather was where everybody's at. Um, it's been, um, here it's been really windy. Really windy. And yesterday it was like, for us it's cold. Yesterday it was, um, what was, it, what was the temperature? It was like, who was it 40 it was 40 all day which is really at in march it's really cold for las vegas so it was 40 and then it was super windy so it felt like 30 like i didn't even go outside yesterday it was just like ridiculous so now today i guess it's windy my husband said i haven't been outside and it's 60 and that's still really kind of cooler for us because we're usually now in las vegas like 70 every day like perfect weather so <clears throat> it's been a really cold spring so far but I'm not complaining because, you know, we're about to enter, excuse my language, but hell, okay? That's all it is here in the summer. It's horrendous. It's like the absolute worst. Here in the summer in Las Vegas, it gets to be like 116. And every day, it's definitely going to be over 100, like 100, 104, 105. And then, you know, quite a few times, <laughs> it'll get to 116. It's insane. Oh, this looks cool on this black. <clears throat> I, haven't, I, I haven't just gone up and down and vertical very much. I keep swirling everything. So I thought, let me try this. Let me try something different. Let's try a little swirl going up through like that. This is cool. Oh, this is cool. This metallic-y, like, silver. Cool. All right, let's do one more with my favorite, my favorite one. I'm going to put this in here. We'll see what this one looks like. We'll do this thing, how I go, like, to go like that. <clears throat> well, maybe we'll do this here. And we'll do some swirls at the bottom. So you can get two different things going on. Let's see how that is. Cool. Oh, that looks cool. Sorry if I get silent, you guys. I'm just like, I'm mesmerized. <laughs> I'm just mesmerized. Cool. Let me rinse this off. <clears throat> cool I like that that'd be so cool to rip that out and put that in, in a collage even that I mean, any of it just it's just cool 
and on that metallic it's just really cool all right let me put these all on the ground these are all on the ground drying and we're gonna i'm gonna bust out my jelly plate i'm gonna try to get to my jelly plate because um i have all kinds of crap on the ground now all right let me okay i can put these all down here so talk amongst yourself for a second because I'm going to have to um, arrange myself here. I have to arrange myself. Here's the uh, deli paper, how it's drying. Look how cool that is. It's darker and lighter in places. It's still drying, but that's pretty cool. Oh, I should have done some of the paint on the deli paper because that would have been cool. <clears throat> All right, so let me just clean this off really quickly so it's not too bad. I just think this is so magical having this glass, um, this glass mat. You have like this big, huge mess, and within seconds, you can just clean it up. It's the bomb. It's the one of the best things in my studio here that I have ever gotten is this mat. All right, let's also clean my hands. Let me clean my hands, and I'll re-chat here. Okay. Oh, the Coco Pellies. Yeah, Janice, that would be cool. Thanks, Artsy Girl. <clears throat> I know Texas is hot too. Yeah. I was born, I was uh, basically raised in Arizona since I was like two years old. So you think when I moved to Vegas that I would be used to the heat? I'm not. I'm not at all. I absolutely can't stand it. Um,. Yep, that's how you spell Coco Pelli, artsy girl. That's perfect. Um, okay. Northern Bird, where you're at, it's 70. How nice. But like I said, I'm not complaining too much because, um, you know, we're about to enter the summer soon. And it's so, so boiling hot that <clears throat> I'd rather just live with what the weather is right now. If we have days that are like 40 or 50 or 30, I'd rather just deal with that. That's nothing compared to, you know, 116. It, 116 is so hot that when you go outside, your skin actually feels like it's being burned. It's insane. <clears throat> it's insane. Okay. Let me remove my glass plate. Let me get my jelly plate from behind me. <clears throat> also, I need to get out my, um, what do you call them? My different things to put on my jelly plate. What I'm, the reason I'm sounding silent is because I just uh, cleaned up my crap, my studio here, and I don't know where I put my, um, all my, like, texture plates. So... I did something. I put them in a new box. What did I do with it? Okay, I'll find it here in a second. <clears throat> Importantly, here's my jelly plate. So I got that. This box is huge, so it can't be far. What the heck did I do with it? Oh, I hate when I do that. I call myself organizing, and I always organize myself right into a mess every time. All right, let me, just a second, talk among yourself. I got to um, scoot over all these, all these papers that are on the ground before I kill myself. <laughs> okay. And I have to go find this. Where did I put it at? I found the perfect container for, oh, here it is. Yeah. All right. Can't see what's in front of your face. Let me show you what I put it in. These are all my mark making tools for my jelly plate. Isn't this fabulous? 
I emptied a bunch of stuff that I don't use anymore. I had this in my craft room. It's a scrapbook case. It has all of my, all my mark making stuff for the jelly plate. Okay. <clears throat> Let me open this and choose some things we're going to work with. Don't need my glasses. Okay. <clears throat> We're going to use that. Punchinella. Love the Punchinella. Uh, we'll use the lace because I love lace. This is like, um, not mad. This is pl lace mat plastic. I got it at Daiso. I mean, it was a placemat. Oh, we're going to do some numbers. I don't know if I've done this. I did numbers, you guys, and they came out so cool. These are placemats. These are some of my favorite ones to do. I love things that are very nondescript. It makes the coolest, in my opinion, makes the coolest prints. That's another piece of the placemat. So is this. Love these. Okay. I don't want to pull out too much. This one's cool because it fits my whole jelly plate. This is a, a true piece of lace. And I love it because it fits my whole jelly plate. And then this is that bath mat. So we'll be using that. Um, oh, I want to use these on it. These are, these are a bunch of good stuff in here. Okay. I'm getting way too much out of here. Out, out, out here. We might use that. That's that Aztec one. And I definitely want to use the bath mat. And then I'm done because I'm going to pull too much. <clears throat> I always pull too much. so glad I found this. I, I was cleaning up my craft room and I found this container and then everything in it pretty much was all old stuff that I'm not even into anymore. And um, it, was, it was a lot of crap. It was nothing even to sell. So it was just a container that was being wasted. So I'm so glad that I found it. All right. Everything else in here is I'm not using. Okay. Let me put the rest of this away here. So much stuff, so little time. Okay, let me put this away. I want to look this up, and they're called scrap boxes. I don't even think I bought this. I think somebody gave this to me with a bunch of stuff in it because I don't remember ever buying this. I want to buy a couple more of these. These are really fabulous. It's called scrapbook case. It's for your supposed to be for your scrapbook paper, but it can be for whatever you want it for. And this is my homemade jelly plate, 11 by 16. I have a video on this, how to make a homemade jelly plate. Because a jumbo jelly plate like this, an 11 by 16, if you buy it from, um, I don't know, Jelly Arts or whatever, it's like um, 65, 70 bucks. <clears throat> and my first jelly plate I ever had, I had made. So I have a video on how to make this. So. You can check that out if you want to make a jelly plate. And I made mine for right around 15 bucks. So, really good price. Okay, let me get the cardstock to the bottom. I'm using some different papers. I'm going to show you. This is some papers that I had when I was cleaning out my craft room. I don't want to use this anymore for anything. I don't even know why I had this. It's old paper. But I can use this white side, right? So, I got that. This was also in my craft room, just sitting there. So I pulled a bunch of paper out of my craft room that I can use for print, for uh, jelly printing. And then this thing here, I don't know what I had this for. So I'm going to use the back of it. So, and then I got other, so I got deli paper, tracing paper, you know, all the normal stuff. Okay, let me put this away. Let me get the paints we're going to use. We're going to use... <clears throat> very monochromatic color scheme so I have uh, white here 
let's go with white and black to begin with with this color this putty color so we'll go with that first I've got to scoot everything down a little bit and make room for myself. These have to go on the ground. Just a second. Sorry, guys. It's taking me a minute to get myself reorganized. When you go into something completely different, it's a whole other organizational thing. Okay. Let's move this. All right, now I have a place for my paint to go. <clears throat> yeah, the way I had things organized, so <laughs> there was no place for the paint. Okay. All right, so let me just read chat real quick, see if anyone has anything to say. I'm gonna move that over just a little bit. Okay. <clears throat> Okay. Uh, Adrian says, going to have to watch that. I've never tried doing this. Yeah, it's really cool. I love it. I try to make a lot of things look like old walls. So that's really like my thing. That's why you guys see me. You see me using so many things that are so nondescript because I like to make old walls basically for everything. Um, Janice says, I think for my birthday... 20, I will get my jelly plate out. Cool. Um, yeah, Janice, make one. You'll love it. It's fun to make them, and it's just, and you save so much money. Okay. Okay, so let me start. <clears throat> you know what I'm going to do first? I'm going to do that number stencil because I did some of these, but I did them and I posted them on my Instagram or not Instagram on my Facebook. So, but I didn't, um, I didn't do a video on them yet. So I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. I'm going to show you what I'm talking about. Okay. Come on, let's open. This one's almost empty. I have another white, but it's in the living room. I'll have to go get it maybe. We'll see. We'll store them like upside down so that they're ready to prime and ready to go. Oh, this one's really new. Let me use my other one. So I don't have to try to open it. And we'll do some black at the end. There we go. All right, there we go. <clears throat> now this first one I'm doing, I was talking about old walls. I'm not gonna make it look like an old wall because I'm gonna do this with this thing with numbers, which looks really cool. And I'll do one with script, too. Did I pull any script out? Yeah, I did. So I'm going to first do black and white with script, numbers and script. It looks so cool. This will turn out like an old wall because I'm just rolling off on this. This will come out looking cool, my little side sheet, my little roll off. I haven't even bothered looking at the time. I have no idea what, what time it is. I need to look at that. Clock here. What time are we at? Three ten. I swear, time goes so fast, you guys. And I always like to roll a little bit into the other color, so it's not like a complete cutoff. It's kind of like meshes in. So it's a mesh.
just so everything kind of meshes together a little bit. There we go. <coughs> okay, let me get... We'll do the numbers first. You know what? I'm going to cut this stupid thing off. And we're going to do these letters and then the numbers at the bottom. <coughs> but there's no need for this thing. In fact, there's no need. I'm going to cut my stencil. I'm cutting my stencil. <laughs> People are like, what? It's just such a waste right here at the top. I suppose if I hung my stencils up, it'd be something different. But I don't hang my stencils. You guys saw me. I put them in that one case. So then I don't have to waste that valuable space on my jelly plate like another little mono print oh we do I don't know if you can really see it but this is real lightly the numbers are in it and this looks doesn't look like an old wall I love the roll off sheets they're just so old wall is that a word so old wall that sounds crazy oh I still have this that I haven't done anything with right so let's throw our old trusty bath or uh, shower mat bath mat on this section right here so that we have print and you guys will see that I don't always take everything off the plate I'll just put more paint right back on and then that way you're able to um you really build up the plate so you can do some really old wall pulls and what that is is just whatever's left on the plate it comes up and it just looks like some old wall and I love that. And that comes from your plate being nice and dirty. And it also comes from using things like lace and very nondescript type of, um, nondescript type of, um, mark making tools. Okay. <clears throat> so now let's get some papers out. So we can pull all this. All right, so we're only going to have a half a sheet on this one, but that's fine. That's fine. And we'll go like this. Oops, we'll go like this. And if we only get half, like half a sheet on this, that's fine. Um, because you can just use this in your, in your collages, which is cool. Oops, I put two pieces right there. So we have a little piece just from the corner, which is cool. Oh, this came out really cool. Look at that. Just that looks like an old wall, doesn't it? So cool to rip that out and put that in a collage is just cool. <clears throat> I know I make the biggest deals about small stuff, but... It's those small things like that that look really cool in your collages. Now, look how awesome that looks. Isn't that neat? I love it. Now, look at this one. Is this the right way or is this the way? What the heck? It doesn't really matter. Here it is. Look how cool that looks. And I love how it didn't pull up everything, how it pulled it up all like, you know, mix match. So it looks more old and aged and look how cool. 
I've been using a lot of this in my collages and it's just been awesome. I love it. And this came out really cool too. And there's so much information left on this plate. Um, I'm going to, you know what, I want to use, I got these other papers I want to use. I just need to cut some up in half. Ooh, I went and paper cut myself. Um, this is parchment paper. I love this stuff. So let me cut this in half. <clears throat> and I will look at chat here in just a second, guys. I was going to do some collages today, but um, I probably won't have time. And I have to do two collages today for the 100 days of collage because um, I didn't do any yesterday. And I didn't do mine yet today. I bet I was I reorganized my studio, my art studio yesterday. Not the whole thing, just certain parts. And then um, I'm folding and tearing this paper. And then um, this morning I was working on my craft room. So so if I don't get the two done today, I'll be down by three tomorrow. So I'm gonna do two collages today. Plus, you know, I love doing collage, so not a problem. Okay, so I just tore these. And let me tear a couple more. These, um, this parchment paper, it's a nice thick parchment paper. I got it at Hobby Lobby last year on clearance. Like, I think 50 pages, something like that, for three or, like two or three dollars. And I love it on the jelly plate. the jelly plate really good so I'm, you're gonna see just a second I'm trying to tear too many at one time because usually I've prepared these sorry all right there we go we got enough now <clears throat> all right there we go so I wonder if I do them this way no I'm thinking about doing it this way. Look if last time is that how I did it, if I did it the opposite way. Whatever, I'm doing it like this. Now, I'm not adding anything else on here because there's so much information left on this plate that um, we're going to lift all this off. Not all of it. Like I said, I want to leave some on there so I can keep building up this plate. And the other ones that we did before, let me um, print on the other half of them. These right here, we're going to print on the other half of them. So we don't waste that. And we'll go this way. We'll get some more on there. And we'll put a little bit more here. So just remember, you don't need full sheets of anything. So these little, you can always just rip these out, use them in your collage. You don't need full sheets. No major. Cool. Look at that. Love it. Look at that. Look how perfect, look how old wall that looks. I love how it disappears here and there. Love it. And you can rip that whole thing out and use that in a collage. That would look really good. <clears throat> Very cool. Look at that. Love it. Look how awesome that looks. So if you have the style I have, I love things that look like old walls, old doors, like it came out of the ground. I love very grungy. So if you like that look, you'll like what I do. <laughs> if you're looking for perfect prints, that's not me. <laughs> I don't even like making perfect prints. I like it to look old. Okay. Um, 
let's use <clears throat> let's use black over where the white was so we can keep building up this plate there's some black let's use um gray we'll use that down here I had that opened. Guess I didn't. I got the new tube. Okay. We'll use the gray right here. We'll use white up here. There we go. And what else? What else? And what do I want to use down here? Let's use some more bit. Let's use some taupe color. And I have not read chat for a little bit. I will read it after I do this next one. Oh, if you have any questions, put them in caps. So that I will know that you have a question or that you have a comment you want me to see. <clears throat> Make sure I can go to you right away. get things a little mixed up. There we go. <clears throat> I'm going to show you guys some, um, yeah, I'll do it on this. I'm going to show you guys some masks with, um, the messy stencil, like a cursive messy stencil. I love it. This right here. Okay. I'm trying to think. I think I got this on. Um, I think I got this on on eBay. Just look up uh, a cursive um, uh, script stencil. You don't have to have to put mask in because they don't even understand that. Just say script stencil if you're looking for one, and you should be able to find one on eBay. I go to eBay before I go to Amazon a lot of times because their prices are just better on eBay. That's what I think. And a mask is really cool. It's the opposite of a stencil. So you're masking things out and whatever under the stencil stays, it's cool. Oh, the, this uh, roll off is really neat. I don't know if you can see the print on there. See like the ghost print inside of that? That's cool. I want it to be a little lighter, so I'll probably leave that alone. Okay, let me see if I what else I can do over on the side. <clears throat> Let's use this like halfway on the side. Cool. Very cool. And roll that up there. Bam. All right, so let's pull this. You know what? The stencil didn't get very good right here. So let's start at the bottom. So I like the way this looks better here. But we'll see. We'll see. We'll see. I'm going to pull this right here on the bottom of this sheet. Oops. My hand stuck to that. 
Oh my gosh, look how cool this is. Doesn't that look cool? Just like a messy script mask stencil. I love that. Obsessed. Obsessed. <clears throat> Don't forget at the end here, we'll have a giveaway. Oh, cool. Look how cool that looks. And then over here is some of the numbers and letters on the side. That looks really cool. You know what? Let's pull. Oh, and then on the bottom here, or even like in the middle here, let me pull. I'll pull if I have enough room on here. Let's pull this. That's cool. And we'll pull this on the bottom. Oh, very cool. Look what we have. We have we have the um, script. We have the numbers and letters at the bottom. I love it. So cool. All right. We're going to get the rest of this off of here. Oh, I know what I did last time. I think I put my stencils this way so I could get two sheets on here. Okay, I, I know what I'm going to do for the, for the from here on out. I'm like, what did I do last time that I was getting full sheets? I know what I was doing. And you guys will understand when you see it in a second. Okay, let me look at the chat. I haven't looked at chat forever. Um, thank you, Art Artsy Girl. Um, Jerry came in. Hi, Jerry. How are you doing? I'm glad you came in. Oh, it's Comfort Cottage, how are you doing? Hey, C. Rose, how are you? So glad you guys, you made it. Thank you, Adrian. Oh my gosh, I love this. So cool. Look at that. You got some script, you got the numbers. Love it. Love it. Another cool one. And I love it because it looks also like just so old wall, old doors, grungy. My fave. All right. So there's a lot of information left on this plate and I'm leaving it because it comes out really cool to leave. Um, to leave the plate messy we're gonna start just pulling off old walls and doors like it, it, just it's cool oh my god she gets excited about that <laughs> i do and we'll do let's do white again down here i should i should have grabbed my new white that i bought but I'm trying to, you know, use up everything. So, there we go. I'm trying to use it all up. I have this other mask that's a number one. It's numbers and letters. It's really cool. So, we're going to use this. So if you want a jelly plate, even if you don't want a big 11 by 17 like how I'm doing, um, you can still, I have a, I have the recipe for an 11 by 17 and one that's like maybe, uh, I don't know, eight and a half by 11, something like that. Um, I have a recipe for that one too, to make that size. And all it is is gelatin, unflavored gelatin, um, and glycerin. You guys, that's it. It's really simple. The thing that will cost you the most is the glycerin. I buy glycerin by the gallons because I make my own herbal tinctures. So I, I already had it. But um, the glycerin is going to cost you the most. You can buy it by a 9-ounce bottle, which is all you need for an 11 by 17 or 11 by 16. Um, it'll cost you right, um, probably around 
nine or ten dollars for the glycerin. Okay, I'm going to lay this time, I'm going to lay it this way. So I'm going to lay my papers that way. And then I'll be able to get two um, full sheets. I was like, what did I do last time? How was I getting full sheets last time? Okay, this paper is a goner. It's done. I need a new roll-off sheet. There we go. And this week I'll do um, a couple of videos of my collages with this black and with these, with these black and white, uh, all these black and white papers that we've made. I'll, I'll have to show you guys something. I have a, um, I draw these Native American warriors. And I paint them. I, I did them like probably five years ago. I don't know. I love, I just love the native culture and I love native art. And um, I started painting these native warriors. Um, and I'm going to, this one called the Great White Spirit. And I'm, did I already do that? Okay, let's just do it again. And I'm going to use one, I'm going to make a print of it, a copy of it, and use it in my artwork. I'll show it to you guys. I'll show it to you right now. I think I, I know I have them right here. Let me wipe my hands off and I'll show them to you. <clears throat> my hands are a mess. Wait till you guys see this pull. That pull is going to be cool. Okay, just a second. Let me show you those warriors that I'm talking about that I painted. I think I'm going to start painting more native native warriors. And when I say native, I mean Native American. But I um I know that um I believe this from what I've listened to other native people. They like to call native, not Native American now. So I want to be respectful. Okay. Let me look for the those really quickly. I think they're yeah. I had a little folder of them. I just want my clean my hands. I don't want them all messy. And touch here they are. So these are just five four by six uh, copies of the originals. The originals were done on like probably eleven by fourteen size. So this is the Great White Spirit. That's a, a native warrior that's called the Great White Spirit. I painted this, prop, drew and painted this about, I think I did these like four or five years ago. But I'm feeling a calling to do them again. So I'm going to start painting some more native warriors. I just did this one in a collage. I'll show it to you guys. Um, here's another one. I saw, um, there was a guy, I used to do hair, God, a long time ago, 16 years ago. And there's this guy, he's a famous artist, and he painted native warriors. And ever since I saw his work, I was like, oh, I would love to be able to paint native warriors. Well, once I learned how to draw, I had to paint these native warriors. And um, I need to start drawing and painting more of them. I really do. They will look really good in my, uh, my, my uh, collage backgrounds. So there's another native warrior. And this one here, this to me is not, is, um, I'm, I drew it as like African, an African warrior. I don't know why I'm doing warriors. I, I, I just do. <clears throat> There's something in me that likes to draw 
these type of warriors. So the one, this one here is going to go in my next collage, like a black and white collage. It'll be the focal point. And I'll show you what I just worked on in my 100 days of collage. I think it was my last collage. Was it my last one? Yeah, it's my last one. So here it is. Oh, I already used the Great White Spirit. What am I talking about? I'll be using something different. <laughs> I, just, I, I forgot I did it already. <laughs> so I did do the Great White Spirit Warrior. Warrior. So this is what it looks like. And I have my papers that have a lot of the um, African and Native symbols on them. And I put that in there. So that was my last collage for the 100 Days of Collage. The one before that looked like this. I used the um, the printables. That Mucha's artwork for the focal points. I don't always have a focal point. Most of the time I don't have a focal point. But I just want to show you how I used them. And all these bits, all these things are collages, are, are uh, jelly prints. And this is one before that. I have a video on how to make these circles on the jelly plate. This is another one. Another another collage. I'll just show you all the collages. Just so you get it. So people who are like, what? Like, what are you going to do with these? Like, these right here are my printables that I have in my Etsy shop. Which were originally jelly, plate, jelly prints. And then I did my intuitive writing over that. But you can get these in my Etsy shop. You can get this in my Etsy shop. You can get that in my Etsy shop. These are just all torn up from my printables or my jelly prints. They're in my jelly prints, and then they become printables. <laughs> That's the ABC one that we've been doing today. This book is really cool. This is an altered book. So what I do is I take a book and I uh, keep 10 pages, tear out five, keep 10 pages, tear out five. And I see how that makes the, you know, how it thins out the book. Cause you can see the book is going to get thick. And if I need to tear out more pages, I tear out more pages. I haven't read chat for a little bit, so I will in a second. This is an entire jelly, a jelly print. I have a video on this. These are using an Aztec stencil on black cardstock, which is fabulous, using metallics. And one day I tore that out and instead of doing a whole collage, I just glued the whole sheet on there because I'm like, that's cool. I did the work. I did the work originally when I made the paper. <laughs> Oops, sorry, my hand was in the way. So that's my 100 Days of Collage book. And look how fat it is already. You guys, I'm probably going to have to start another one because that book is getting fat. And I don't care that they get fat like that. Um, what I do is I, when I put them on my shelf, they're like really like a little, they sit there like a little statue. And I just let them sit open like this. And it looks fabulous. So I don't worry about them remaining flat they're not going to so i put on this um mask i put it on this way remember so that i can get two full sheets i could remember what i did last time which was just a few days ago like girl what did you do <clears throat> i'll read chat after i pull these up um i probably let the everything sit on the plate long enough so let me oh cool very cool Love. They want to bend on themselves for just a second. Okay, there we go. Very cool. And there's so much left on the plate. The second pull on this is going to look so cool. Oh, I like this one. I like this one even better. check out this look at this 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 is that old wall i'm talking about doesn't that just look like an old wall this whole side looks like an old wall right there 
phenomenal. Okay. Let me pull this up again really quickly because there is a lot of good stuff left here and I think it's going to come up really cool. So this will be my last one with the numbers and letters, and I'll pull up something, um, I'll use something very nondescript, because we've got a lot of good information built up on this plate, so we're just going to start pulling up old walls after this. Oh, I love it. I knew this was going to pull up really cool. Just a second. Look how cool. I mean, I can't wait to use this piece right here. I can, just, I can just see this in a collage right now. Just rip this whole thing out right here. This looks so much like an old wall, and then you'll have some of the lettering and numbering. This, what this is, is letters and numbers, this stencil is. Letters, numbers, and they're upside down, and they're right side up. They're crazy. They're crazy like me. Okay. There is no right way. I don't know why I'm doing it like that. Very cool. Look at this. I knew when I pulled this off, it would look like an old wall or an old door or a cave. Look how cool that is. But then you see these letters and numbers going through it. So cool. Oh, wait, let me read chat because I haven't read chat forever. Look at my roll off sheet. I'm going to leave this. This looks cool. That's in my roll-off sheet. Oh my God, I have so many papers on the ground. I love it. I love it. Um. Oh, you know what I need to get out is my gold. My gold. Where is it? Oh, here it is. I need to be adding some gold to some of these. I have two different golds, antique and regular gold. So I'm, we're going to pull those. Okay, let me just see what you guys are saying. I haven't looked at chat forever. Sorry. Yeah, I do have my style. Okay, um, the paper I'm using, Rose, is um, that beige paper. This paper right here is just parchment paper. It's a thicker parchment paper. Isn't that cool right there? This is a thicker parchment paper I got from Hobby Lobby last year. When they clearance out the fine art section, um, make sure you look for that because that fine art section is going to be coming up on clearance soon. And I picked up a pack of like, I don't know, I think 50 or something for like two bucks. It was, it's crazy. So I go over there when they clearance out the paper and I, I, you know, I spend some money because I love going over there and getting those papers for that price. So um, let me see what else other people are saying here. Uh... Thank you, Janice. Thank you, Adrian. Okay. Thank you, Janice, again. Thank you, Rose. Okay, uh, Janice says, I know she will catch it. I'm just, I just, I just want to know so I know the depth of her plate. Um, the depth of this plate, what this is, this is a cookie sheet. <clears throat> it's a big, huge cookie sheet. So, um, whatever the depth of a cookie sheet is, and it's eleven, like an 11 by 16 cookie sheet, so it's a big one. Um, let me see if anyone's saying anything else. Yeah, I'm in the zone. <laughs> um, okay, I'm just reading to make sure. Okay, you guys, I just read through everything. If I miss anybody's question or anything, put it in caps so I don't miss your question or your comment um, if you're talking to me. Um, I'm just going to use my ruler and just see. <laughs> Janice is all, Angela's in the zone. <laughs> That's true. I, I was in the zone. Okay, I'm thinking it's about an inch. And I don't even actually go all the way up. So 
maybe half to, half to three quarters inch. I could have made this even, um, you know, I could have went all the way to the top. But the recipe I give you, it'll probably fill up an 11 by 16. Um, one like this, about a half inch to three quarters of an inch in depth. So, okay. Oh, you guys didn't know I could get so technical, did you? All right, let me rip up. I'm really enjoying this parchment paper. So this paper here, it comes like uh, like huge, like 11 by 17. I should just be using this whole thing like this, huh? Because it fits in here. Why am I always ripping it? Oh, because I need to go this way to get full prints. Okay. <clears throat> I answered my own question. All right, now I'm going to show you guys... Um, well, you know what? I am going to use one full sheet. Let's do a bath mat. So if I use a bath mat, then um, I can use a full sheet. Let me rip these real quick, and then I'll use a full sheet. I love what Jenna said. Angela's in the zone. <laughs> I was in the zone. It's exciting. I love doing, I love jelly printing. When I learned how to jelly print like this, I, I, I could just do it all. I could just do it all afternoon. Like, I'm obsessed. I just get obsessed. Okay. Let's do some white. Okay, that was too much white, but oh well. We'll do taupe. Love this putty color. Okay. I get all these paints. They're all Master's Touch. I get them at Hobby Lobby. I only get them if I when I ever need to replace anything or I just want new colors. I go I go every other week because they're on they're on half price every other week. I wanted to add a little antique gold. Oh, I'm getting low on that. Look. <gasps> I never use this one. I need to use I'll use this one next. <clears throat> So if I do run out of the antique gold, I have the other one. So I'll be okay. <laughs> I'll stress out if I run out of gold. I won't know what to do with myself. Okay. I need a roll-off sheet. What are you doing, Angela? Get a roll-off sheet out. Now, sometimes I will take it and just in the middle, mix up all the colors in the middle so they're more marbleized. But when you use black, black is so dominant that it will, um, everything will be black. So that's why when I'm using a lot of, I'm using black like this, I kind of keep them, um, I let them mesh in together instead of, um, instead of going like that, instead of going in like a, little squiggles you know what i'm saying like applying the paint like like that and then black over that it just it, it gets too dominating the black does so and how do i know that <laughs> time on the plate that's how i know <laughs> i've done enough times now <laughs> that's what happened like oh everything's black okay now I'm going to use this whole where is it okay I pulled it so I know I have it <clears throat> I'm looking for the whole shower mat where the heck is it? I pulled the whole shower mount, mat out. What did I do with it? Oh, that makes me mad because I could just put the whole shower mat down. Did I not pull it? I thought I pulled it. Maybe I didn't pull it. All right, let me grab it out of my case. <clears throat> I meant to grab it. 
Okay. Now, what I'm talking about when I say shower mat, for those who haven't been here before or haven't seen what I'm talking about, I'm going to show you. <clears throat> All right. I'm going to place it on here and you guys are going to see. This right here fits my jelly plate because I cut it to fit it. And this is a shower mat you get from Dollar Tree. And um, they have plenty of them in my stores here. Every store I go to, they have them. So you can you can cut it to fit your, your plate. Also, you can cut it and have pieces like this. One piece, so you can put it in spots. You can cut it and have two rows. This mat is the bomb. You need to buy two of them so you can cut one to fit your plate and then one to cut up into like pieces. And you want the pieces. You've seen me already using the pieces. And then one with three rows. And then I have one that's like a square. I made into a square. I don't think I pulled that one. Okay. This is one of my favorites also. Is this. Is this a um, bath mat. I'm obsessed with the bath mat. I want to make sure that I get a good impression. I just go over with my roller to make sure I get a good impression. <clears throat> oh, I didn't get the black good. Let's do it like this. Let's go like that just to make sure we really get the impression good. Okay, that should do it there. Yeah, we got it in that good. Okay. And what's cool about this is I can, the right way, vertically, instead of going horizontally, I can use a full sheet. This big old 11 by 16 sheet of parchment paper. It's cool that it fits my plate. We'll probably go to 4.30 today. That's including the um, the giveaway. Just because I think I want to get through a few more of these things. Especially for the people. Because, you know, actually, if you watch my videos, um, you've seen me jelly print a lot. Because I barely print. I used to probably do a one or two jelly print videos a week. But um, this is my first time jelly printing on a live. Oh my God, this is so cool. Obsessed. Look at this. Look how fabulous this is. Let's bring this damn thing down. Look how cool this is. Now, does everyone have to run out to Dollar Tree and get a bath mat or what? Heck yeah, you do. Get yourself a bath mat. Get two because you need to cut one down. And then have one for um, for the size of your jelly plate. Okay, I'm going to do this one more time. Because this right here, the second pull, I think, will even look more cool. Oh, you know what I should have done? I should have done, I should have put some pearl on the plate. Oh, well. We're good. We're good. Oh, I know which one I'm doing next. I want to do that. Um, I'm going to do a lace and then I'm going to do an Aztec stencil. Wait, I got to lift this up. What am I doing? About to knock my, knock my phone off. Okay. Oh, cool. See, this is that old wall that I was talking about. All right, let me bring it back down so you guys can see it. Look how cool this one turned out. See how grungy it looks and how much like of a wall it looks like. Old wall, old door, old wallpaper. Hold something. 
so cool. And then look at my plate. Look at my plate, how much cool stuff is left here. That's fabulous because when we do our last prints, this stuff's going to come up and it's going to even just look more like more grunge and old wall looking. It's going to be cool. <clears throat> um, let's do... All right, we're going to do this placemat. This is one of my favorite things, too. I keep saying about everything. This placemat, I flip and love this placemat. Oh, I almost said a different word. You guys, I don't drink or smoke, but I don't have that great of a mouth sometimes. <clears throat> okay. You got to have some vice. Okay. I will look at chat here in a second. Just trying to get as many of these done for you guys as I can. Sorry about that banging. Somebody's like, thanks, Angela, my ears. having a little thought process there okay I only put black once usually because like I said the black is so dominating that you don't need all that <clears throat> and let me get this one done and then I'll check chat again these right here and lace are so cool because these placemats that I cut up from Dollar Tree from a long time ago. Um, <clears throat> you can't tell what the print is. It just, it just looks cool. When you make your own jelly plate, if you want your jelly plate to be absolutely perfect, you need to take a toothpick <clears throat> right after you, you know, pour it in and pop the bubbles and then spray it with alcohol. Um, I didn't spray mine with alcohol or pop the bubbles. I actually like divots in my jelly plate. So, um, because it adds texture, you know, I'm always trying to create texture, right? So I like divots in my jelly plate and you'll see little, like little bubbles. I want those in there. But if you want a perfect one, that's what you need to do. I didn't say that in my video, I don't think. So, and you definitely need the glycerin. The glycerin in the in the uh, formula is the preservative. So, um, don't skip the uh, glycerin. I mean, even if you have to do a little less glycerin than what I said in the recipe, that'll be fine, probably. You just need to have some in there to... Um, keep it from um, molding you don't want molding and that's why I buy it by the gallons when I make my herbal tinctures um, when I make my herbal tinctures it stops you know make sure that my tinctures don't mold my husband calls me an old medicine woman <laughs> I guess I should explain myself. The reason I always talk about that, like I say sometimes my tinctures, um, I make my own tinctures, my own herbal type of medicine. And I'm not saying this for anybody else to do this. I do this for myself and for my family and for my husband. But I do it for myself because as a child, I had asthma really bad. Like I was hospitalized. And I wasn't even hospitalized for the asthma. I was hospitalized for the medicine that they had given me. Um, it made me seriously ill and it made me shake like I was a crackhead. It was horrible. My body smelled from the inside out. Like, I don't know what. So, um, what I had to do, and I took this upon myself. I was little. I can't believe I did this. There's a store called um, Pick and Save. And um, there's a store called Pick and Save. And they had these really strong cough drops. And I don't know what made me think 
to get these cough drops. Well, I used to babysit, so I would have my own money. So the cough drops were 10 cents a pack. And for some reason, I thought these cough drops would help me. I just knew these cough drops were going to help me and my asthma. And I knew the medicine wasn't, it made me sick. It put me in the hospital. And um, so I started, I bought them. So my mother would come in, and I'm not telling anybody to do this. Well, we're all adults here. Um, she would give me my asthma medicine, even though this asthma medicine made me sick. It put me in the hospital, and they still kept me on this damn medicine. So anyway, um, I would throw the pills, believe it or not, behind the bed, and I would take my cough drops. They're really, really strong. I've never had a cough drop this that strong since then. And it would stop any of my asthma right away. And that was my first thing of making my own herbal medicine. Um, and every time I take synthetic medication, I get, I, you guys, I hallucinate off of Benadryl. I know, it's insane. I hallucinate off of Benadryl. Um, I try to be on birth control and I found, I was in college and um, I was on birth control and the pills and it, um, it made me so exhausted that I fell asleep in my car. It was like almost 100 degrees outside. I could have killed myself. So I just react really bad. So that's why I got into herbs and herbal medicine for myself because I knew I had to do something because I don't, my body doesn't react right. So anyway, I just want to share with you guys. Um, it's not telling anybody they're wrong or right for what they do or their choices. But that's why when I say herbal medicine, this is why I became an herbalist and I make my own medicine um, for myself because um, I need to. I've, I was cutting someone's hair this one time um, when I was a hairstylist and I had just taken some Benadryl. And I started hallucinating and I had a cup of coffee in my hand and I thought the counter was there and the counter wasn't there. <laughs> that coffee, I dropped it. It spilled all over me, the customer. I'm like, oh my God, I can't take Benadryl anymore ever again. This is before I became an herbalist. And uh, anyway, just thought I'd share that with you guys. That's, that's my story. Okay, and I'll read chat here in just a second. Hope I didn't insult anybody by telling that story, but it's, it's, it's about myself. It's not about anyone else but myself. A lot of people handle medications just fine. My body just doesn't. Okay, this came out really cool. Look at that. Love it. This just looks so much like an old wall. I absolutely love it. All right, let me read chat. I think I'm going to throw that gold over this whole thing. I wonder if I should throw... Yeah, I'm going to throw gold over this whole thing because that's going to come up really cool. I might throw... I like to throw this gold over it and then bring everything up that's going to come up. I'm just thinking if I should throw the gold and throw this both. I'll do both. All right, let me read the chat. Okay. Oh, good, Janice, you're back. Um, Rose, you know what's crazy is um, we have an herb shop, and I'll read the rest of the questions in just a second. We have an herb shop. It's called Herbally Grounded here in Las Vegas, and um, it was wild. Uh, I've been here for 16 years. Yeah, 16 years ago, I went into that herb shop. And I, well, I just looked at it and I was like, what is that place? I went in, I wasn't having any issues at the time. So when I went in, I just, I didn't ask the right questions. I didn't spend the time. Okay. I went in again because my husband had severe back pain and my hormones were out of balance. And when I went in there, I, there was, a, I looked up, I looked up right when I came in and there's a wall. It's a huge wall full of herbs. And I don't mean, I mean, herbs from the ground. To herbally grounded so they're pure there's nothing else in them it's just pure herbs and so i went in there with a problem and that's where it all started she goes so i was looking at her, i go what's that and she goes oh that's the herb wall you can make your own tinctures i go you can make your own what she said yeah you can make your own medicine i was like oh my god i i i needed this place for my whole life and so we started talking and she goes well 
get this little herb encyclopedia. So she gave me this book. It's called the Herbal Encyclopedia. You can get, buy this book called the Herbal Encyclopedia on eBay and Amazon. Um, and you can make your own tinctures. She goes, okay, just look at the back of the book. You want to balance your, your, your hormones, right? I said, yes. So you just put, you just look at the back of the book. It says, um, hormonal balance, balancing your hormones. And then pick a few herbs, pick two or three herbs, put them together or go look at the, they also have herb tinctures on the shelf that the lady named Angela, who owns the shop, she makes, she goes, you can just copy what's on the back of her, uh, uh, back of her packaging of the herbs we, we sell here and then make your own. Or you can buy hers that she's already made it. I said, well, I want to make my own. She goes, well, go, go over there, get the herb book, but also go get the medicine, the herbal, the hormone tincture, and then just get the same herbs. I said, okay. So I did that. And then she said, now <clears throat> you need to, you need to uh, mix equal amounts of herb, equal amounts of glycerin and equal amounts of uh, bottle, bottle of distilled water. I went, oh, okay. And um, you're supposed to let it sit for like two weeks. But I don't have time for that. So what I did is I put mine in the crock pot on low. So whenever I need a tincture, I put it on low. And um, for like six hours. And then I have instant tincture. And so the first time I went into Herbally Grounded, I was in there for six hours. <laughs> I was going insane. I was like, oh my gosh, this is what I've needed for my entire life. So I'm lucky here in Vegas that we have this herb shop pure herb shop it's the coolest place in the whole world and i don't care what issue you have you can find an herb for, herb or herbs for it at this place and they all are master herbalists there and they will help you and then this girl angela harris who, who owns the herb shop she had a class so you could become a um you can get certified as an herbalist so I took the course. It was an eight-week course. It was so fabulous. And I became certified. So out of Rose's question, that's that's also how I became an herbalist. And also, if you want to buy herbs and you know you don't live here in Vegas, you can go to Mountain Rose Herbs. Mountain Rose Herbs. WW Mountain Rose Herbs. And you can buy pure pure herbs from them. That's where Herbally Grounded Grounded gets a lot of their herbs from. So that was a big explanation <laughs> for, Rose's, for Rose's comment. All right, let me pull this and then I'll rechat because I need to rechat. I'm sure somebody has something to say. <laughs> like, okay, Angela, that was a whole lot of information in about two seconds. And the thing that worked for my husband's back was... Um, Himalayan salt. Remember I was telling you guys to pick up that Himalayan salt from Dollar Tree? It's a pink salt. If you change all of your salts to pink salt, which you can buy at Dollar Tree, which is insane. I buy it by, I buy 10 or 20 at a time. Um, uh, it totally controls you having high blood pressure, high cholesterol. It balances out your system, gives you all the minerals and vitamins you need. So anyway... I took that Himalayan salt, because that's what they told me to use, put it in his bath, his hot baths, and also some um, bentonite, some uh, clay. Uh, what clay was it? Uh, it's called, um, god dang, I can't think of the name of the clay. Well, you can use bentonite clay, just use some type of clay. So he would take clay and salt baths every night, actually in the morning and night, and um, it helped his back so much. He had back surgery and he wanted to make sure he, the medication he was on, he was on was insane. And he wanted, he, we didn't want him on that. So that's what he did. And he got through his back surgery doing that. Okay. Let's see what this looks like. Oh, this is cool. Look at this. I'm just talkative today, aren't I? This looks so much like an old wall. This is what I'm talking about, how it just picks up nondescript stuff. That's cool. All right, let me look at the chat. <clears throat> I'm sure I need to really scroll through now. Okay. 
Uh, oh, you have an herb shop. Cool. You would love to do nature herbs, Janice. All right. Uh, let me say it like this, because you have to be so careful. This is why I used to teach herbal medicine on my channel. But um, you can be sued so easily. So I'm going to say this, but um, I'm not a doctor. I'm an herbalist. And um, I'm just going to show you what I do. Okay, I'm going to share another story. I'm just going to tell you guys what I do for myself. Um, I did get coronavirus. I got it before they had the shots. <clears throat> and... Um, and I won't even talk about the whole shot thing. I'm just going to say it like this. This is way before the shots. I got coronavirus. My asthma left me when I was in junior high. Um, I got rid of it. Um, they said I would probably outgrow it. And I did by junior high. So I haven't had asthma since junior high. Well, I got that coronavirus. That was hell, you guys. I was sick for a good month. And even I was, I was, I was sick for a good month, like just hell. Even at six weeks, I was just coming out of it. I'm still coming out of it. And it, that happened in October. It was maybe September. It was horrific. And um, my breathing problem started because, you know, that's part of the whole, that's the main part of it. So um, I had the herb Lobelia. It's L-O-B-E-L-I-A. And I made a tincture out of it. It's called the breath of life. And um, because it's a tincture... Um, it goes to the bloodstream right away. So within 30 seconds, I'm breathing and I take it. I just took it before I came on right now. You guys hear how sometimes I start coughing. It's because I have to take that. Even today, I have to take that like three times a day to keep my breathing even. Okay. And to make sure my breathing's good and it keeps my, bre my breathing even and it keeps it good all because of that damn coronavirus. And, um, so it keeps my breathing even. And if my breathing is not kept even, then I start getting a lot of mucus buildup. It's in the reason I get mucus build up because it's responding to me having the breathing problems. So um, <clears throat> I take it like three times a day. Uh, I take it in the morning. I take it in the afternoon and I take it before I go to bed. Um, and how you make it is um, or how I make it is, is again, you get the herb lobelia. You can get it from Mountain Rose Herbs or if you have an herb shop, you can go there and get it. So I put it in a mason jar, a regular size mason jar. I put in about that much herb. I put in that much water. I put in that much glycerin. Does it have to be exact measurements? You guys know me. I'm not exact. It's, it's like cooking, okay? Don't skip the glycerin because that's the preservative so it doesn't spoil. Put it in a crock pot on low for about six hours. And now you have something to help that, that you, will, you won't have problems breathing. Now, I'm just telling you I'm not your doctor. I'm not anything. I'm just sharing you, sharing with you what I do. And what happened to me. So, um, and the other thing is after, um, I had to sleep sitting up for six weeks. Like I slept in the corner of, of the couch. I couldn't sleep in the bedroom. I had to sleep on the couch in the corner of our couch and kind of have my body kind of up and kind of down. It was weird. Okay. The whole thing was just weird. There were many other things that I went through with this coronavirus, but that was the worst thing with this breathing thing. And, um, and even today, um, at night, I have a hard time laying flat the whole night. Um, you know those that were, that kind of like thing you use, you sit up in your bed and you read one of those type of things? I got one of those, and it's furry, so it's real soft and plush, so I can really melt into it. I start off sleeping up, sitting like kind of reclined, laying reclined in my bed in that. Then I can lay down, and in the middle of the night, I have to get up again. And I recline back into that. And then I finished up my night sleeping flat. And that's how it's been since the damn coronavirus for me. Um, so I hope me sharing this with you has helped some people. Um, I buy the Lobelia by the tons because I cannot be without that stuff. Um, so, <coughs> so anyway, let me read the, let me read the um, comments. See what you guys have to say. Yeah, Lobelia. You got the got that's exactly how you spell it. <coughs> okay, uh Ciro said, 
I had COVID right before they knew it was COVID. You know what, T. Rose? I had COVID too before they knew it was COVID. I had it in January uh, when it wasn't announced that we that this was going, you know, going up through everything. But I didn't have the breathing problems that time. I had everything else though. And I was so sick, but I didn't have the breathing problems. I got the second time, September, October, something around there. And then I got the breathing problems. Okay. Um, I had COVID right before they knew it was COVID. 3% of my lung function from how horrible sick I was. Angie was describing, regrettably, I took the shot and I won't take the booster. I don't blame you, girl. Okay, make me a little bit. Okay, Janice. Janice, I'll talk to you about that, okay? Uh, Rose, Angela, I know what you mean. I had COVID before the vaccine and I was off work for 28 days. It was such a horrible experience. I is it the most horrible thing you've ever experienced in your flipping life? Oh, and one other thing really quick. I'll keep reading comments. The other thing was, is the sleep. I could not sleep at night. Like I was up all night. Like I was up every two hours. I could not sleep every two hours, hour and a half. I was up. Well, what happens is, is your body, um, because you stay six weeks in the house, right? Because it takes you so long to get rid of it because you can't even do anything. Okay. Your body, your, uh, what's it called? There's this, I forgot what it's called. There's some system in your body that if you don't see the sun, it doesn't get triggered. So it makes you think at night it's day and day is night. It doesn't even know anymore because you don't go outside. So what I had to do to get myself to be able to sleep throughout the night is I would have to go outside after coronavirus. I read about this and that's how I, I, I found out about this whole thing. I would go outside every day for like 15 minutes and just let the sun hit my body for 15 minutes. Every day I did this. Also, to get my breathing back to some type of normality, I did these breathing exercises where I would lay on my back which was hard for me to do at first with my knees up. I would breathe in through my nose and breathe out through my nose and try to do that three or four times and then breathe regular. And then I would turn to my side and do that too. And I still do these breathing exercises. And this is so it gets your lungs strengthened up. And that I learned online too, how to strengthen your lungs. Also do cardio. Like I do, I do Zumba. And, um, and actually after I do a Zumba workout, I feel better because I'm really exercising my lungs and um, I did Zumba anyway, but um, it's super important that I do it now because I need to exercise and strengthen my lungs. So if you don't work out, I advise you to start doing something like start doing some type of cardio, walking, Zumba, mix fit, do something because you got to strengthen your lungs. It's not even about fitness. It's not even about looking good anymore. It's about strengthening your damn lungs. So that's what that's how I've gotten my lungs strengthened back after the whole nightmare. Yeah, I never lost my taste or smell. Some people have. Uh, Wing said me either. The, the the pain was unbearable. Yeah, my whole body hurt too. It was a nightmare. I just I just hate that whole experience. Um, I'm going to tell you guys about one other thing that I'm doing right now too. Just to share with you guys. But let me go ahead and read what everyone is saying. Okay. Yeah, Janice, I stay home a lot too. I stay home a lot too. And I still um and I don't want to get I don't want to get political or anything like that. I just I, everyone needs to do what they need to do for themselves. That's what I always say, whether it's herbs, whether it's medicine, whether it's this booster, whether it's a mask or no mask. You just need to do with what you think is comfortable for yourself or what you need. That's all I ever say, but I still wear my mask all the time and I still stay 6 feet away from each other. In fact, when I go to the store, I keep my cart behind me. Because some people don't believe in the six foot rule anymore because, you know, you don't have to be six feet anymore. Well, no, you still have to be six feet here. You just don't have to wear a mask. But I keep my cart behind me because that keeps six feet distant. So when I'm checking out, people get pissed because I got that cart in between us. They can't get up on me. But, you know, I, I can't take chances with ever getting that again. Okay. Um, let me read what everyone's saying. Yeah, if I was every... I tell everyone about that pink Himalayan salt. You guys can get it at Dollar Tree by the pound. That's an insane price. I don't, me and my husband both, we use nothing but uh, pink Himalayan salt. And the reason you want to take pink Himalayan salt is this. When you take white table salt, when you take white table salt, the reason it's white is because I learned about this in my herb class. The reason it's white is because it, they sell, they take all the minerals out of the white salt, of the salt which is originally pink. It goes white because they take the minerals out and they sell the minerals to the drug company to make drugs. Then you get high blood pressure from the white salt, okay? 
Then they sell you medicine <laughs> to get rid of the high blood pressure, which doesn't get rid of it, it just manages it. So if you, it also has tons of good minerals that you need in your body. So if you do pink Himalayan salt, you sw switch all your salt to pink Himalayan salt. It, it tastes no different than the white salt. No difference at all. It'll give you all your minerals that you need. It will lower your um, your blood pressure. You won't have high blood pressure. Um, I've never had high blood, blood pressure, but when I was in my herb class, the women who did, they got on the pink salt and they don't take blood pressure medicine anymore. That's how insanely good that pink Himalayan salt is. It's, it's, it's so important. Um, what else are the people saying? Okay. And again, um, I know I'm talking about things that are very, um, oh, it shouldn't be, you know, it shouldn't be like that. I know that it's very maybe controversial, but I'm just sharing what I do and I'm not demanding whatever you're doing is wrong. I'm just sharing what I do for myself. And, I, and if I can share what I do for myself and it can be of help to you, I, it makes me so happy. Um, that's all I'm trying to do. And I don't down anybody for whatever they do. Whatever you do for yourself is what you need for you. And that's just what I believe. Um, so. Okay. Yes, power walking, two to five miles. Awesome. You guys, um, on my, um, if you go to my, I think it's my homepage. If you look, um, I have a Zumba list. It says Zumba and MixFit. I do both. Okay, here's another story. I used to do Zumba and I used to do MixFit. They're both dancey type of aerobic classes. They're jamming type of classes. You're jamming, okay? You're doing like Janet Jackson stuff, but they break it down real easy for people. Everybody can do it, Okay. Um, and you burn off 500 to 1,000 calories. So that's really awesome. I'm just using pure gold, like the translucent craft one, to clean this plate. And it's going to come out cool. So anyway, um, I have a list. And it says Zumba and MixFit. And um, some of, like, 10 of those dances are my, um, was my old aerobic instructor. I stopped going to my gym, which I'm so sad about. You guys, that's where I got my coronavirus the first time, was my gym. I know it was, because I, in every class, I probably had 10 friends, okay, in all my Zumba Mixed Fit classes. We would hug every single day. Everybody gave everyone hugs. We talked afterwards for, you know, a good 20 minutes. We were all, these were my friends, you know, these were my friends. I mean, we were just, we all did Zumba. It was always a party up in there for an hour. It was a big part of my life, and I've been at the, I've, I've been a part of a gym, since I was, I was a dancer my whole life up in, at, and then after college, um, I stopped dancing. So then I started going to the gym. So I've never not gone to the gym. I've always gone to the gym my whole life. And, um, I loved going to Zumba and mixed fit class. It wasn't, it was a party. It was my friends. It was my social hour. It was just everything. And now I don't have it. It's just so sad. It's just so sad. But there's a black guy, and the reason I'm saying it's a black guy is because then you'll know who I'm talking about when you watch my Zumba. Um, I have a playlist of Zumba and MixFit, and it's the black guy. You'll see him. Um, he was my main Zumba instructor and, uh, and MixFit instructor, and, um, and you'll love his routines. He, thank God he had pre-recorded himself before coronavirus. So it was so cool. So I was doing his classes online for free. And then after that, I found a whole bunch of other people. There's this guy named Kramer. Um, it's like 10 guys. It's like 20 guys. And they're from another country. And they're so good. And I do them. So I have, I probably have 50 Zumba or Mixed Fit playlists. You guys have to check it out. It's fun. But I do miss going to my gym. I was at my gym for how long I've lived here? 16 years. I was very sad. It's like you lost all those friends because, you, you know, the reason you saw them was because you saw them at Zuma class or Mixed Fit class. So, anyway. Hopefully, I will return again. Okay, you guys. What I did was, is there was a lot of information left on this plate. So, I didn't put any more paint or stencils or any type of mark making on here i just use this this uh inca gold 
it's just a cheap metallic craft paint. These golds are see-through. They're translucent. Unlike these. These are not translucent. So you need these when you want to pull something up or if you want to glaze a piece. Glazing is I could just put this on here and take any of the prints I just had and put them on. It'll put a gold, a real pretty pearly gold glaze on a print. So that's what glazing is. Um, we don't have time to do that today. But I did use it also. You can also use this to pull up a print to, to clean your plate. So I cleaned the plate with it, and this is what we got. Look how old wall that looks. So like I said, I hope I didn't make anybody mad or insult anybody. I just shared my story and what I do for my own health and myself. And if I can help anybody else with my story. And like I said, it's not advice <laughs> or anything like that or a prescription or anything. It's just what I do for myself. Oh, one last thing. There's a thing called, um, app, uh, what is it called? Fire cider. Okay. That's probably the one of the best things that's going to help you for any sickness to either solve it or to, uh, it, it doesn't solve the, the, the illness or the virus. What it does is it builds up your immune system so it can help fight any virus, any cold. It's called, um, so I'm not saying I have a cure to coronavirus. What I'm saying is you can build up your own immune system with what I'm what I'm about to tell you about. It's called fire cider. And um, you can look up a recipe. There's a ton of recipes. And that's what I would do. Look up fire cider on YouTube and you'll see people making it. Okay. Because that's how I found out about it. It's uh, apple cider vinegar with the mother. You can get that apple cider vinegar with the mother at Dollar Tree, you guys. That's a great deal. I buy that. When I see it, I buy 10 at a time. You take that. You chop up garlic. You chop up onions, you chop up lemons, um, jalapenos, um, ginger root or ginger. And I'm trying to think of anything else. I think that's everything I put in my, everybody does. There's something like that. They change things in and out. So you, you can, once you have that kind of base in there, you're good. And you just chop all that up in there in, in a mason jar. And then you fill it with the um, apple cider vinegar that has the mother in it. And the apple cider vinegar feeds your, your gut with the good bacteria. When you have a gut full of good bacteria, it fights the bad bacteria. Bad bacteria is viruses. Bad bacteria is colds. Bad bacteria is bacteria. Okay, you guys see what I'm saying? So if you have more good bacteria, if there's more good bacteria in your um, gut than there is bad bacteria, then, you can, then it's going to help you with your immune system. Your immune system is your gut health. So, um, I take that every single day now, every day I take a little, I just take like in a shot glass, I take like about a quarter, like that much. It's strong as hell, but you guys, you know what? I've acquired a taste for it now. I like it. it, it it's hot. It's hot, but I've acquired a taste for it and I really enjoy it now. So I take it once or twice a day. So it's a good thing to build up your immune system. It's also good. If you feel yourself getting sick, take that. I would take it three times a day. Um, so anyway, it's called um, Fire Cider. So that's what I'm doing every day. I take Fire Cider every day, and I take that little bilia every day for my damn... I take other other herbs too, you guys, but and I take some stuff to balance my hormones. But anyway, for, for my health, with what's going on right now, I take the Fire Cider every day, and I take that little bilia for my damn breathing. I'm so pissed, you guys, about that breathing issues now because I haven't had that since junior high. I thought it was over with. I'm so mad. Anyway, I'm just showing this last pull. I just think it looks so cool. That's that old wall at the end that I love. All right, let's let me um read comments. Oh, we're going over today. Let me read comments and then we'll do the giveaway and we'll wrap up. Okay, so let me just read comments real quick and then. Thank you, Janice, so much. Thank you, Rose. Oh, Get Silver Snickers, uh, Sneakers has a uh, yoga. Oh, cool. Oh, that's a good one, uh, uh, Artsy Girl. Very good. That cayenne is real good. Yes. Um, I, I, well, I don't know if some people put that in there. I put the jalapenos in that fire cider. I don't know if people put cayenne. Cayenne is really hot. So, um, in that apple cider, I would still put jalapenos. 
Um, let me see what anyone else is saying. Thank you, Carrie. And hi, how are you doing? Okay, I'm just reading real quick. Janice says yoga from home. Um, okay, let me just see. I just want to keep reading up a little bit. Uh, oh, you're welcome, Northern Bird. Thank you. It's hard to stay safe. Okay, Carrie's saying it's hard to stay safe when you are a hairdresser because you're, I know, because if you're a hairdresser, you're right on top of your client. I mean, I loved being a hairdresser. I did that for 16 years. Um, well, I did that for 15. Then I moved to Las Vegas and um, met my husband, got married and everything. So then I stopped being a hairstylist, um, which I was fine with. I had done it for 15 years. But I'm so glad I'm not a hairstylist now because, I mean, <laughs> you would have to take your health into your own hands because you're right up on the customer. It's crazy. I know. It's crazy. So thank goodness it didn't happen when I was in the midst of my career. Okay. Thank you, Janice. You're so sweet. Um, okay. Okay, Janice, um, I don't completely sit up. What I do, okay, this is, this is weird. What I do is, okay, you know that, I told you that, like, backrest thing. It also has, like, arms on it. And you, if you want to, like, read in bed, you get one of those. So those, you know, they're kind of old-fashioned. That's what I get. That's what I bought. I didn't buy the one that's the memory foam because I needed one that I could sink my body into. So what I do is I, I push it up under my butt a little bit and I recline back. So it's almost, I create myself a hospital bed. You know when you're in a hospital, you don't want to lay, they don't, you don't always lay flat, but you recline back a little bit. That's how I sleep for like two hours. And then I lay, I lay on my side for like two or three hours. And then I, I sometimes I have to, sometimes I can just finish out laying down. Sometimes I can't. Then I'll recline back for a couple hours and then finish out sleeping. It's ridiculous, but that's what works for me. So I'm not completely sitting up. I'm totally at a, at a, at a I'm reclining like a hospital bed does. <laughs> I know that sounds insane. I know it sounds insane, you guys. I know. But coronavirus is insane. Um, okay. Let me just see if I miss anybody. Um, okay. Thank you, Rose. You said that was a cool story. Thank you. Um, okay. Uh, oh, hey, Jeannie. I hope you're still here, girl. I didn't even see you up there. I was so into the damn storytelling and the jelly printing. I hope you're still here, Jeannie. Love you. Okay, I know it was when you showed one years ago and I tried it. I'll attempt to again sometime. Perfect. Uh, oh, thank you, Natasha. Natasha, I love your artwork. Thank you so much. Sorry, I'm sorry if I missed anybody's comments, you guys. I'm going through them right now. Okay. Okay, so I think I've read through everything and also answered everyone's questions. If you have any other questions before we get off of here, um, if you have any other questions before you get off of here, um, just put it in caps. Um, okay, so let me put this jelly plate away and let me grab the... Um, let me grab um, the giveaway stuff. So sorry, you guys. I have rambled on today, but I don't know. I felt compelled. <laughs> just, I don't know. It just hit me today. And I said, you know what? And that's my first time I've told anyone about the coronavirus. So I haven't really shared that with anybody. I don't know why I'm scared. I think because our climate's so political that I didn't want to cause problems. So, I guess that's why I didn't share it. But at the same time, it's, it's your story. It's important for people to tell their story because their story can help others. So, I felt compelled to tell it today. And if my story could help somebody, I am very happy. 
Okay. Let me put this. Okay. Let me. Let me not fall on all these papers. Slip on these papers. Put the jelly plate away. If you haven't joined my Facebook group, you guys, join my Facebook group because I'm going to show you guys something on there. I organized a, um, I have this table. You guys can't see it right now. I have this table and I watched this lady. I saw her, um, she had a tour of her art studio. So she had her easel in the middle. She had a table on one side, a table on the other. She laid out all of her paints. And I mean all of her paints, all the paints that she liked to use on each side of her. So she had her easel in the middle. This side was a nice size table. This side's nice. And she had all of her paints laid out. You guys, it's so awesome to work like that. So I, I don't have room for this side, but on this side of me, I have a, t a small table now. It's actually a medium small table. All my paints are laid out. You guys, it's flipping awesome. I love it. So I could just, today when I'm working, I could just look at my, my paints. They're right here. Everything's laid out. All my paints are laid out. All of my, just all, everything, everything I use is laid out on this table. It looks like a damn store. <clears throat> More importantly, you can find your stuff. It's awesome. I love it. So I'm going to take a picture of it today and put it in my Facebook group. It'll also be on my Facebook, uh, my like my home Facebook. If you haven't joined the Facebook group, um, there's a clickable link in any video and then there'll be a clickable link in a couple hours after this goes up. <clears throat> okay. Enough of my babbling on. I need to get to this giveaway. Okay, I'm just going to show you guys really quickly. You can win March. You can win March March's uh, printables. Let's throw that on the ground. Let me make room. <clears throat> I was, I'm just going to. I'm just going to go through them really, really quickly. I'm not going to talk about them just so that people, wh whoever didn't come, can see March March's printables. Some of these printables I used this last month, like the last week or two because I, I love some of them, so I wanted to start using them. Some you've never seen, some you have seen. So I'm just going, these are called my um, languages around the world. It's um, Arabic or, yeah, I think it's, I think it's Arabic. Arabic, my own, my own script writing, and then Asian writing. Same thing with this one. I call it languages, languages from around the world. That's what I call it. So I'm just going through. These are my own collages, you guys. I've used um, public domain things, uh, collage bits, or different papers I found that are public domain. Made my own collages out of them and stamps I used. So that's how I came up with these. Same thing with this. Okay. And every five sheets is $2.50, and there's 15 sheets, okay? Some of them have only four, and if you only have four, then it's, uh, it's I think, $2, $2 or $2.25. I have to do that because that's the way Etsy will let me list. I can only list four or five at a time for it to be a printable. Okay, and then these are by Mucha. Now, the reason I'm allowed to do these and sell these and put them in my printable kits is because these are public domain, and there's a bunch of other people on Etsy that are selling um, Mucha stuff like this to put in people so that people can put it in their artwork but it's public domain so that's why i'm able to do it i double tripled and quadruple checked because i didn't want to get myself in trouble and uh because i kept seeing other people with this and selling them i'm like is that legal and then i checked out the whole thing so i even talked to somebody on etsy who was selling them just to confirm again okay because last thing i'm gonna do is um use someone else's artwork and or um, get sued but you're using it for you're using it <clears throat> to put in your own artwork and you're not saying that you those are your paintings you're just using it as like um you know like you use scrapbook paper okay so you can either get this i won't go through the coloring books these are all adult coloring books they're all awesome i still have one of the creative animal animal world Adult coloring etchings or the color seasons. Um, I have this really cool stencil. It says, what is on here? Okay, it says, follow that dream. Cool. 
You know what? You're going to get something else with that stencil because that's not enough. I'll give you something else with the stencil. Um, you know what? It'll be this. You can get the stencil and the script stamp. It's not script stamp fabulous, so that'll be one. That'll be one. <clears throat> Let me see this, what else there is really quickly. Okay, this has two of these in there. Aren't those cute? The LEL girls. You get that one on that side or that. Okay, so, and then let me just do one of these today. And then remember, you can make your own texture plates out of these. These are the wall compounds from Dollar Tree. Okay, so let me get my pad of paper out and my pen. Let me make sure there's no questions. Yeah, Artsy Girl, the table looks really cool. I'm going to take a picture of it and uh, <coughs> I'm going to take a picture of it and uh, put it in, the, in my Facebook group. Yeah, the script snap is cool. Okay, let me just make sure anyone's saying anything. Uh, okay. Okay. I was just making sure. Okay, I'm just making sure that... um. I answer everyone's questions. Okay, I think so. If I missed anything, I'm so sorry. Buy those coals. I know. I okay. <clears throat> Let me write a number down. Oh, and the other thing is, um, if you win, then um, <clears throat> um, if you win, well, if you if you win this, whoever wins this one, they can't be in the next one. Okay, guys, just so that we spread out the the prizes a little bit. Because Janice did something last week that's she picked the winner both times. And I didn't have that rule. So, she, I mean, she was totally, in, I mean, it was totally, I mean, it was totally right because I didn't make him any rules for that. So, but, and no one ever does that. No one ever gets it twice in a row, guesses the number twice in a row. But Janice did. I told her, I said, she's a psychic. She needs to uh, play the lottery. Um, so just one, if you win, then, you know, don't do it for the next one. Okay. Um, let me write down a number. Oh, I got to get my pen going. Okay, and how many people is there? There's 12? Okay, so pick numbers 1 through 12. Go. And one number only, please. <laughs> I'm glad you have a ticket for the lottery, Janice. Because <laughs> you need to. It's okay, Artsy Girl. I think I said go, so it's fun that everyone picked numbers. <coughs> okay, Artsy Girl, you got it. Number two. Check it out, Artsy Girl. Number two. So, Artsy Girl, what do you what do you want? This is a stencil and a script stamp. Coloring books or printables? Oh, you already uh, you already you already got the printables, so don't choose the printables. Okay, did Archie girl see what she wanted yet? And just to let you guys know, it's the first person that gets um, the number. I mean, so if, if other people haven't even given their number yet, I, the reason I call it right away, it's the first person that gets the number. So. Okay, Archie Girl, script stamp and script stamp, please. Okay, so I'm going to give you, you get both. You get the script stamp and you get this. Follow that dream. Cool, huh? Okay, so let me put your name on that. So you have that. Okay. <clears throat> you know, I'm going to up the ante of this right here, okay? Because I got a lot of stuff. I, got, I have, you guys, I have so much stuff to give away. It's ridiculous. I'm just going to up the thing. So this goes with this. Look at this little bag. Isn't that fabulous? 
So you get this with this. So that's another prize. Okay, let me choose another number. Okay, one through 11, go. <clears throat> Hi Diana, how are you doing? Oh, sorry. Comfort Cottage got it already. I I did didn't see it. That was one of the, that was the first number. I just didn't see it. Sorry. Um Comfort Cottage got it, it was number 7. There it is. Yay, Comfort Cottage. And Comfort Cottage, I have your, I, yeah, I have your, um, I have your address already. So Comfort Cottage, what do you want? I can't believe she was like the first number and I didn't even see it. Anyway. <clears throat> Let me get this out of the way because this is already chosen. I want to choose that again. Let's see what Comfort Cottage wants. Do you want the printables? Okay. Printables. They are yours. So you got the printables right here. Okay. There you go. Okay, you guys, thank you for sticking with me. I know um, I kind of went off on some tangents today, but I hope I helped somebody out by going off on some tangents. And um, I hope you guys liked the, um, oh, my nose. I hope you guys liked um, all the jelly printing. It's my own little funky style, but hope you guys like it. I guess you guys are here. You like my funky style or you probably wouldn't want to watch me. You'd be like, girl, you're making a mess, okay? Um, and that is it. Okay, you guys, thank you so much. Um, I will see everybody next uh, Sunday, 2 o'clock Pacific time. Um, if you haven't joined the Facebook group, um, it's called our magical little place. There'll be a clickable link below in about an hour or two, or you can go to any video, um, any other video and do a clickable link. Um, if you want the printables, uh, there'll be a clickable link below this video for my Etsy shop. You can also go to, you can go to any of the other videos I have and click on the link in the description for my Etsy shop. If you want the printables and that is it. Okay. You guys, I've done enough talking. I think. Don't you? All right. I'll talk to you guys next week. Bye. Yes. Happy birthday, Artsy Girl. You got a lot of goodies coming. Okay. Bye, guys.